Okay, today we're gonna to talk about some very important things when it comes to buying a home, refinancing, and I'm gonna share with y'all a formula that we are putting together and going to make available to teach you some very simple principles that make an unbelievable difference in your life and your future and your financial security. You know, it's hard for me to go and just push out content like this, but I know it's important. And I know I'm called to do it because I want to make a difference in, in people's lives and the kind of stuff we're going to talk about today make a difference. And I want to appreciate those who follow us and support us and our clients of ours because our goal is to build a referral based company. Uh, one, you know, we have a mission to be one of the most customer consumer centric companies in the market, helping empower people, empowering you to make very smart financial decisions. And we just happen to be in a position with companies to help you accomplish success in many areas of your life. And if you follow uh, us here, you're going to see a lot of things that we have made and we have worked on to put together that all help you live a more fulfilled, balanced life. This, this little topic today, we're talking about how to be successful when buying a home and getting a mortgage. I'm going to share my screen with you here in a second. And we're going to talk about some things. It's going to be a little different. You know, I'm very passionate about Wazango's rule of 35 and anybody that's refinancing and everyone should be refinancing right now because rates are super low and you're able to restructure debt and do some things that we're going to talk about here shortly. This is going to be a pretty short uh, little session. And in the comments, if you have a question, you want to call in live, please do so. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Let us know where you're tuning in. Uh, if you feel valuable and uh, this content's valuable, please give us a share. We want to, if you'll help us spread this message. Uh, but rates are super good right now. Rates are steady. We're actually seeing them getting a little better closing in at the end of the year. It's a great opportunity to buy a, a new home. As you go into uh, right now into, into the new year, the FHA loan limits have increased. The conventional loan limits have increased to $548,250. I think that's what they are. So it's a great opportunity to step up in a, fam in a home you live in and capitalize at, at these interest rates that are just unbelievably low, but also second homes, keep that in mind. Uh, and then investment properties, if you can put 25% down, we're seeing rates in the 2.99. Now, full disclosure, this video is for educational purposes only as we get in and I dive in and I teach these principles. Everybody's situation is different. You have to qualify for these prime interest rates. You, your terms will be based on your financial situation. Not everybody will qualify. Um, so this, keep that in mind, please, as we go into this education and talk about this together. So um, interest rates are very good. It's a great opportunity to be buying, but also restructuring debt. But I want to talk to you all about, let me share my screen. Stay with me on this, or you can watch it on, on replay if you prefer. Let me share my screen with you. Um, make sure I'm sharing the right screen, which I am. I want to talk to you all about the rule of 35. Rule of 35. What is the rule of 35? This is something that, you know, I've had on my heart and mind for a long time, and we're putting it together, putting it into programs, especially helping young high school and college kids understand the formula for success. We call this the get rich slow plan. Five years. You will be, you know, you'll underestimate what you can accomplish, uh, overestimate what you can accomplish in a year. You think you could do way more in a year than you really can, but you underestimate what you can do in five years with the right plan and the right vision. And uh, one of the courses we're putting together is we have broken it out in different sections and it helps you get clear on where you wanna take your life in five years and make sure you're on the right path. Uh, and we have companies that, that help you help, help, if you're not on the right path, help you get on the right path, especially if you're not making $100,000 a year. And we're gonna, we go in, in more depth on this of getting super clear where you wanna be in five years. You know, change can happen in a moment in a moment, when you say enough is enough, I'm ready to change and you understand how everything good or bad that has happened to you has made you into the man or woman that you are today. You know, if I would have got everything I wanted back when I was young, and I think back on some things that I'll, I'll share my story more and more with you over the next few months, but uh, if I would have got the perfect environment, the perfect, every, you know, this, 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 it would not have made me the man that I am today. So if, if some people have been through a lot more than others, but that has made you uh, who you are today and given you strength. But we want to get clear of where we want to go with our life in five years. And I, we have a formula to show you how you create unbelievable security 
and peace and freedom uh, that what can be accomplished over five years when you go about it the right way. We talked about the importance of leadership and personal development. Um, uh, this is a separate course. I'm just kind of getting to the rule of 35. Stay with me if you can. Uh, we're talking about understanding the new educational system, uh, how you have direct access to learn basically anything that you want to learn. It's never been as in depth as it is today. Very powerful. But I want to show you guys the rule of 35. This is where no, don't refinance. Don't refinance until you have gone through the rule of 35 and you see where your whole financial picture is. And I put a link above. If you want a free consultation, no obligation to show you where you're at with this rule of 35, please go take advantage and book that, uh, that consultation because nobody should be um, refinancing without understanding the power of the rule of 35. And it's very simple. And we're going to go into much more depth. Stay tuned to follow what we're doing. And uh, we'd like to help you understand this concept because most Americans live way beyond their means. They live way more. Uh, their cost of living is way more than it should be. And the rule of 35 is simple. You take your gross annual income and you times it by the uh, rule of 35. So 35% to, to solve for the cost of living. Your cost of living, your debt to income should be less than 35%. What is a debt to income? Debt to income is what we qualify you on when you come work with us to get a mortgage or to buy a home. We pull your, we verify your income, we pull your credit, we take your payments of your mortgages, your, your car payments, your loans, your student loans, your credit cards, anything that's on the credit report, um, you know, and we take that income of yours, we tie, and then we figure out what your debt to income ratio is. Mortgages, most, most of them, like conformity go up to mainly 49.99 DTI. FHA, we go up to maybe 57. FHA can go a little bit higher. But if you think about it, if you have a debt to income, if you come to us to buy a home and you're 48, 49 of your gross income, that's before taxes. Now your free cash flow isn't uh, as good and you can't save any money. Your cost of living is too high. You can't save. So what happens is you get into this rat race where you're paycheck to paycheck. Maybe you have a little bit of savings. Maybe you're all right, but you're not investing. You're not saving. You're not planning for retirement. You're not building that security that is needed. A family needs security. And men out there, we're going to call you to rise up as leaders and be the man that you're called to be and provide security to your wife. Women want to feel secure. My goal is to make my wife feel unbelievably secure. And then uh, that a, lot of a lot of beauty happens in that uh, when a woman feels really secure. And it's our job as men to do that. Women, you know, um, um, you know, you do this exact same thing. But men, it's, and from biblical perspective, we are supposed to provide and give that security and that leadership for our family. So rule 35, back on, on this as we talk about mortgage loans. Um, so rule, cost of living. You take your annual income, your max DTI, we try to get it below 35. We can use a mortgage loan right now to restructure debt. We restructure your other payments, short-term debt, interest rates that are higher than 299 or 3%. We want the cash flow. We want your cash flow, your cost of living to be 35% or below because here's the power of the rule of 35. And this is why nobody should refinance until you understand the, the rule of 35 and incorporate that into refinance strategy. That's how you maximize a, a mortgage, a long-term low interest uh, a loan like a mortgage to really restructure your whole financial situation. And now there's never been a better time to do it. Consolidating debt, really looking at your cash flow, figuring out what your DTI is. If you don't know what your DTI is, we'll do an analysis for you absolutely free. Click the link above. We'd love to do that. We've got a whole team of advisors here in our office that'll walk you through that. All right. So now here's the power of this rule 35. Once we get your, a plan, if you're not already there, to keep your DTI below 35, cost of living. Now let's figure out, all right, your gro if you had 100,000 annual income, if you're not making 100,000, please reach out to us. We'd like to show you how, if, you're, if you want to and you're interested, please, moving into the new year, uh, if you want to. We take your gross income. Let's, let's, we got to subtract your taxes, right? Your estimated tax, especially if that hundred grand is a W-2 employee, let's figure out your taxes and you have limited tax deductions now with W-2 employees. So you're leaving some money on the table. We'd like to show you how to make a hundred grand of 1099 income, take advantage of more tax savings. Um, so we got to subtract your taxes from your gross minus the cost of living, your COL that we solve for. 
you know, if your DTI up here is 42% or 45%, well, I just, I think I have this here. Let's look at this. Let's say we have 100,000. We look at the rule of 35. Oh, I need to change that, 35%. Boom, there's the cost of living right there. Now we take the gross monthly income. We estimate, the, uh, get rid of the estimated taxes. Okay, now we're gonna take, we're gonna also minus taxes. We're gonna minus the cost of living. That's your mortgage, your car payments, your credit cards, everything. We're gonna try to get it below 35. If it's not there already, if it is, let me show you what you should be doing with your money or you could be doing with your money. So let's take this 2916.67. That's the cost of living. That gives you after taxes, mortgage, car payments, everything. That leaves you free cash flow of $5,400. When you times it by the rule of 35, you take 35%. 35% equals 1895. 1895 should be put away into a long-term investment vehicle, which we have one that earns an on average 7% rate of return uh, tied to the S&P 500. We'll never go down if the market crashes. There's a cap on what it can earn, but it's growing income tax-free. Um, and we would love to talk to you about that. Now, all those are hypothetical. Uh, when you're talking interest rates, rate of return can't guarantee anything, but we could show you the historical of, of how to have a long-term investment that's growing at an average of a good rate of return, way more than anything that you could put it in that provides unbelievable security and growth and protection of taxes in the future. You never have to pay income taxes again on that money as it grows. And the younger you understand this, and we're helping kids that are 18, 19, 20, 22, understand these principles. And, and it out, almost is like you're setting up your, your own banking system. Nonetheless, I don't care what you invest in. The key is you should have your cost of living below 35, gives you free cash flow, and 35% of your free cash flow should be put into a long-term investment. Very, most people wait till it's too late to start thinking long-term and putting money away. Uh, this way to do it, we'll show you how to keep it liquid and keep it growing like a savings account, but giving you a but You should never have a lot of money in the bank account. It should be at work. You should have six months of living. In your bank account, everything else is making you money while you sleep. So now the rule of 35 is very simple. You take this, the, the free cash flow, 5416 minus your rule of 35, what's going into your investment account. Now that leaves $3,500 of, of free money that you could you spend on anything. Country club memberships, out to eat. You know, this is just kind of your free cash. You've already have your cost of living in line. You're already putting into an investment. Now you have money to spend. The problem in America, and we see this, and that's why I was so passionate to come up with this formula, especially on refis. Take advantage. Take advantage. Give me a comment. Do you think, do you think the majority of Americans live beyond their means? Do you think that's a problem? And I'd like to know y'all's feedback on that. I'd love it if y'all make some comments in the notes there. Um, but... If when you take the opportunity to understand the, uh, you know, how to get really smart with the rule of 35 and how to utilize a mortgage loan to restructure uh, your debt and show that cash flow, cash flow is king, cash flow is king. You know, we could take a mortgage loan at a very low interest rate and, and restructure a lot of your debt. We'll show you how to do that. If you're interested, if you own a home and your interest rate is higher than three and a half or you have some debt there. Um, please reach out to us and let us show you how this little formula, when we can help guide you every year, we work with you every year, we work with you, review, review, re how are you doing? Are we out of line? Are we in line? Are we hitting our task, hitting our goals? Because we're going to show how we can increase our income each year. And when our income increases, when our income increases, I'm going to end with this. When our income goes from 100 to 200, okay? Our cost of living can now go up to 5,800. Now you can buy a nicer car. Now you can buy a bigger house. The problem comes when you increase that cost of living and your income stayed the same. So as we increase our income and we keep the roll of 35, our cost of living can increase. And we're gonna keep this plan for five years. If we can stay on this program for five years and invest, uh, you're going to have so much put away. You're going to have so much security and you're going to have an unbelievable plan. And the younger you can learn this, even if you guys have kids and they're not buying houses yet, we're going to have a program to teach them the principles of how banking works, how FICO works, how credit score works, how 
uh, debt to cash flow works, how to look at a PL. We have a little program that we're working on to teach you guys how to run a PL for your household. You know, how to look at the profit and loss statement. How do you look at what's going in and what's going out to be smart with our money and mortgage loans right now are an unbelievable tool to restructure your situation, either when you're buying a home or, or refinancing. Uh, but look, if you take this same number here at 200,000, what is that? Let's just say I'm going to rough numbers here, guys. I'm going to say this is 16, 1666, which will be pretty close. A lot of sixes. I don't like that. Estimated taxes. Your taxes may go up a little bit. Let's say estimated taxes are now, let's just say all in, let's just say 25 for or illustration purposes, minus the cost of living that now was able to increase. Boom. Now you can be investing 3700 away. If you put 3700 away, it doesn't take long to equal a million bucks if it's growing at 7%. But so now you watch what we can do in year three, right? And I'm going to show you four industries how to create that income growth and teach you if you're not making a lot of money. But if you already have a vehicle where you can make more each year, the average, the average salary increase in America is about three to five percent. If you stay in that position where you're at, making 65 today, you know, maybe get a $3,000 bonus next year, $3,000 bonus the next year. It's not that much income growth. So what will happen, it's very challenging because you do want a nice car. Everybody does. Or you do want a nicer house. Everybody does. And you're going to eventually do that, but you're making the same money. So now your DTI is in the 50s. If your debt to income is in the 50s of your gross monthly income, let me just show you. So if you didn't understand this rule of 35 and you made 200 grand for the first time, you're going to spend 200 grand because you don't understand the principles. You'll never be able to make enough to live on because you're going to spend everything that you make. You're just going to go buy new stuff. Trust me, I've been there. I've done it. All right. So if you had 200,000 of your gross income and your DTI with probably the average is way up there, I'm going to say 55. You bought a mortgage, your DTI is 48 plus some other stuff. So let's say it's at 55. Ah. Man, I need to get that fixed, 55%. Boom, 9,000, okay? So now we take same tax rate. Now we're gonna take the cost of living. You, you increase your cost of living too much. This is what most people do in America. 9166, okay? So free cash flow, boom, 25666. Six, six. Minus, boom. Yeah, those numbers aren't right. Got to work those formulas a little bit, but it limits what you're able to put in because your DTI is too high. You know, but you got to think DTI is calculated on gross monthly income. And uh, so very important. Let me leave with this. Interest rates are incredible. I can shop interest rates right now and show you how to be so strategic on getting a refi. We have a whole office of certified with Zango Advisors here to help you. Our job is to help you make smart financial decisions, okay? I'm gonna say it over and over again. Our job is to help you make smart financial decisions. It's not easy going live on Facebook, talking about this and putting yourself out there, but it is a duty of mine to let you guys see how we can change the path of our lives when we understand how to be smart and how real estate and mortgage and insurance and all these things can work together with the right guidance and the right advice or we can go out and save you a lot of money getting the mortgage when it comes to rate, saving on mortgage fees, uh, saving on mortgage insurance. There's so many different ways to save money. But now we want to help you manage the money. And we've taken it a step further. If you're not making enough money right now, if you're struggling, if you have depression, if you have, if you have issues that are just keeping you in jail, so to speak, of your life, we want to help you break through that. Now we are we are in the mortgage and real estate and insurance and, and business, right? So we are in a service business helping our customers do those things the right way with your interest in mind. We don't make as much on those deals as most companies because we wanna pass those savings on to you um, because we don't have to rely only on mortgage income or only on this income of this industry because we have a few companies that uh, together, together we can help you in many areas so we can make up that difference by adding value into your life. Those of y'all who know me, uh, I think that this is live on my personal Facebook page. You know my heart uh, to, to really do big things, but to help other people. That's where my most fulfillment comes from, especially young kids. 
If you know any young kids that are in college or in high school that are needing some mentorship or needing an opportunity, maybe they come from a tough upbringing. And if you know a young kid is in, in a tough situation, um, you know, family-wise, you know, young, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, please let us know. We want to support them and, and help do some things. Uh, so we've got a heart for that. You know, a young kid, when you're 18 and older, no excuses. If you're 18 and older, there's no excuses of why you're struggling in life because you're in control of it, okay? Uh, but when you're under 18, you know, and you're 9, 10, 13, and you're in your difficult situation, you know, that's, I got a heart for that. I would like to, to really make a difference there. So if you know of anybody we can help, please let us know. Nothing, no expectation in return. You know, I was watching a deal the other day. Tony Robbins got a deal on Netflix um, about that big seminar he does every year for like 2,500 people. They pay five grand in six days, 12 hours a day. And he helps people break through. Amazing. And this, this lady stood up. And uh, he, he gets them to stand up. People stand up right in the auditorium. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, it is great. Tony Robbins, I'm Not Your Guru is the name. I was watching it until one o'clock last night and I was fascinated by it. Tony Robbins is a deep, he's dug deep and he's figured out you know, what it takes to really push through and he helps people do it. But this, this young lady stood up and she said, I got problems. You know, I've got some problems that is really keeping me from moving ahead. And, you know, I've got this inside of me, a lot of pain. I don't know how to deal with it. And he said, well, let's deal with it. What is the pain? And she said, you want me to tell you? You really want to know? And he said, yeah. And he, if you watch that documentary on YouTube, you'll see how intently he can focus that energy into that person. I've never seen anybody that can, they can do it the way that uh, you'll see on that video. It's amazing how he, he can look into and almost penetrate their spirit. But anyway, that lady said, okay, so I grew, she was from, I think, Brazil. I grew up in a, uh, in a, uh, a, 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 like a faith, a religion where they taught the kids to explain how to express love is to do sex acts. So starting at six, we had to do sex acts to express our love. That's how they taught us to express our love for God. We had to do it through sex. So from six years old, she's like, my brother, my mom, my sisters, myself, I saw them all. And we all had to do it. And now we're all carrying this pain around. We don't know how to get over it. Can you imagine going through something like that at six years old? I've got a daughter who's five, about to be six next year. Wow. Right? So that pain, like, how does she, how do you, how does she deal with that? How would you deal with that? She's like, my, my family, my mom, my brothers, everybody's terrible. Everyone's suicidal. Oh, that's what. He asked people uh, the role of average. Uh, there, there was like 2,500 in the auditorium. And he said, there should be at least a dozen or two dozen people who, based on the role of average, are suicidal. Let's break through that right now. And she's one of the ones that stood up. And she said, we all suicidal because we're carrying around this pain and we don't know what to do with it. We don't know how to overcome it. And it was just amazing how he can help break through, right? And it was amazing what happened. If you watch that, you'll get to see for yourself. Uh, so no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've, what, what's happened in your life and what you've carried, it's made you who you've become. And he told her, you have unbelievable strength. You have under, uh, unbelievably, like the ability to get through tough things because you've been through one of the toughest. And so we can't change what we've done. We can't change the bad that has happened, but we can change where we go ahead. Now, this whole session was supposed to be about mortgage and real estate. We all know because everyone's blasting it everywhere. There's never been a better time to buy and sell. We can help get you connected with unbelievable experts in real estate. We work with some of the best firms in town, agencies in town and agents in town. We can help you do the uh, look at a mortgage the right way. And if you're interested, we can help show you where you're at in the rule of 35. But most importantly, Think clear of what you want to accomplish into 2021. It's a new year, but don't wait to start then. Start getting clear of where you want to be. You will see some things that we can help you with moving into the new year and especially into the new year. So you do not be hesitant to call us, to reach out to us, because it doesn't matter what it is. We want to learn what you're trying to do, and we want to try to help you do it the right way. So thank you, guys. I'm going to jump back in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up, a like, or share. 
something, let me know that you guys are, uh, was, this is something of value, you got something out of it, or what was it? Out of everything you watch, is there anything you could share with us of what you, uh, you know, got the most value out of and what you'd like me to talk about the next time we go live on Facebook? You know, it's not easy for me to do this, but I know I'm called to do it. So we're going to continue to do it. Move into this, this Christmas year of, of having perspective of what, you know, this whole year of everything that's happened and push through with unbelievably unbelievable force moving in to 2021. Until then, stay safe out there as we figure out what's going on with coronavirus and everything that's going on. We appreciate y'all. And um, if we can help you in any way, you let us know.